The Witcher's on board. We can go. Let's get to work, my bearded friends. Open the shaft, Skags. If you kill off those monsters, the whole of Vergam will be grateful. I'm sure some coin would be found. We'll keep that in mind, Cecil. So, Sheldon, you opened the shaft yet? Keep your pricks in your trousers. You can't just plow forward all the time. A mind is like a lover. You need to be gentle. So she accepts you moist and hot. You and your music, Sheldon. I threw them off the feet. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philippa claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kick insult. Called king by some. Thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edda? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen Farter. That Brazen Farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crown. 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edder. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want it. The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day. That grew hot later. Very hot. When Van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kidwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van der Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van der Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes. There were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwenny sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henselt had her executed right after the battle. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Sarsky's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsaker Selkirk in the whole of Edom. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet. He's a lying dog. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. 
The visitors sent him to their deaths. He refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven of Dunnians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Thanks, Cecil, that was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. I need to get inside the harpy lair. No chance. I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Now, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Virgin's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days. And I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about the ages old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. I'd like to play dice. Beat the innkeeper, and I'll take you on with pleasure. So be it. So, we are working at the pool, and one of the spirits went out. Suddenly, and there he's dead. like a dog in a butcher shop. Maybe it's just a sleep. I heard Then I heard a square that says, bravely says, who fed the bird mash? That's a witch, you're not a human. No, it's not. What's this? Clad in hues of green, a bit strong. Don't 
try anything. I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Please hear it. See, when they're to marry, they become terribly picky. <laughs> Let's go drink, friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that? They stole it. The plowing bird stole it. My dream is gone. And then what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of my dead wife for years. Let's go for some liquor. Drinks on me.
The head of a king. Take it to Sheila. You know where. She'll give you coin and further orders. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. You'll go unarmed, in common clothes. Try to sneak through unnoticed, but if anyone asks, you bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time.
wonder how many more will turn up.
How many more can there be? Head of a king. Take it.
Who there? A witcher. Bumpkin Swisher sent to me kill. So be. Kill. Quick. No pain. Why do you want to die? Live. Why? Me misses me want no more. Be lone. Be terrible. What's in the pot? Soup. Elf and onion. Good. One try? Tell me, troll, what happened here? Me in gullies, me sees in gullies. Bones found. Nice to know. Then wham! Humis from sky fall! You're lying, troll. People don't fall from the sky. Troll, true tell! Flash crack! Two humis drop where dumble ship. Humi man, big as troll. And woman. I go see! Was the man bald? Did he have a scar? Wish a man likes man. See, I from far. Bald, yes. Scar, no see. Run he go to Gullies. Leave redhead Humi. Down. See, I go. Redhead grown. Her pain. Closer I creep. Run, she not go. Let her grow. Take me, Humi woman. Go home. Missus angry. Go Humi wench thin bones. Hungry, missus, yap and yap. Then run, go own for food. Give water, redhead Humi. Leaves cover leg. Humi redhead nice, pet she when sleeps. Redhead have kerchief, nice to sniff. Missus come back, elves in hand. Drop thin wench, eat it, she call. Missus yap, rag give. Troll say not, nice to feel. Stench troll like. Missy say, she or me. Troll think. Nice redhead, nice rag stench. Troll, Mrs. Tell. Mrs. Troll with log beat and run go. Even left elves. What happened to the redhead? Redhead, wrong pain. Redhead stay. Pain gone. Redhead run go at night. Troll sleep. Wind howl empty. Do you still have the redhead's bandana? No, missus take away. Old bug leave elf's frag steal and run go. Where did she go, your... Wife. Gullies, Mrs. Gullies like. Gullies, me like. Why don't I look for her? Wish her Mrs. no kill. Good old bug. Little batty. I won't hurt your woman. Mrs. Tell come back. Below, be terrible. Wind howl empty. Fine. I'll tell your mate to come back, but I need the redhead's bandana. Mrs. have. Mrs. good. She up give. As soon as she back. Yeah. <laughs>
wounded. Let her bleed. Better lunge at her all at once. She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of specters. Now we're up against a furious she-troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We could use professional help, Witcher. Will you help us? I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their side? None of your business. I need her, and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. Walk away, and nobody else will get hurt. You won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. In that case... I do watch you. Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, men! Spare us! Witcher! The king will pay our ransom! I'm not looking for a ransom. Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. The soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. Neither do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander! We were to find a Witcher! A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired with a wolf on his neck. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrat, known as a dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensel tired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. Humi's trolls, see? To kill Humi's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other. Good, you help. Troll, you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No! Idjit, hew me, redhead grope. He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him! Too late! Know anything about the woman who is in your lair? Troll, no! Hew me ugly. Hew me stinks. Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but Troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Bag, good, troll like. Me back for Wisha asked. Stay away if Wisha not ask. Mrs. Wise. Idiot you, hew me woman grope. No more, never again. Give me the bandana. Here, stupid old buck. Troll, give horn. In danger, we shall blow. Troll, come. Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers, stench. Troll, bring bird dung. Eject! What troll do we lay?
thought it over. I'm on my way to the recruiting station. I don't know. What's to consider? <laughs> Son of a bitch. He almost got away. I think I heard something. Close. What was that? Necrophages. With this many appearing, they must have a nest nearby. Come on! Show yourselves! I'll let you taste my axe! Oh, you're making them shit, Rex. Even then, they'd stick less than you!
That should do it.
battalion vibrating. Right, get out. Looks like it's all over. Thanks for your help, Zoltan. Say nothing of it. Enough yapping. Time for some vodka. First, I want to see if my fuck date's still waiting. Just don't strain yourself. It takes energy to drink with us too, you know. You wanted to discuss something. I found an immortel. Excellent. You wanted to discuss something. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. 
What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demavent's son. Why? The Dragon Slayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. Dogs growl at cats, cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Claim it's our princes do it. Sir, the Lord will never be on the same side. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights, Adernian noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jovis! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia! We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The Squirtal keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. We? Oui. The mob's akin to a forest after a drought. One spark and the fire will be unstoppable. I'm no peacekeeper and definitely no judge. We're both in it, whether you like it or not. Why are you getting involved? For her, Gwynblade. Certainly not for this rabble. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Good. Good. Greetings, Gwynblade. Anything changed? Not really. Change your tone when we put a sickle this is to nonsense. your throat. What would the prince Save gain with the virgin's death? I can tell you woman. what he lost with her life. 
power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Other Can we one. have a Why not? I'm Ogden. No thing. It is. My sir. Ah. Who the Who the Of course. Why could some ha. Who ordered the goblet from you? That the lot. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. Grand the prince has it coming, methinks. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Say, which is he over here? about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. You know. He glad. Where? Hi. Farewell. Give us this whole. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world. I don't have time to listen to songs. Know anything? So tr I didn't s if the or they do Saskia is a wise woman but who will sas you may be right but rolling dung you surly dog you are changing I'd your gladly hear your opinion on the situation finally someone reasonable it's obvious Hensel bribed some serf who then did what he was told that's interesting just think it through the prince couldn't have done it. The wine was in plain sight. Only the servants touched the decanters. And who are they? Commoners. Then that same commoner incited his folk to stand against the nobles and the prince. Something to think about. Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads. Let's drag the prince from his hovel. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, Yoko. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never! It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us! A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. 
Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stannis could do it. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can he? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No, you are guilty, Prince. You know you are. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't keep peace in Vergen with strength alone. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia's the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Scoyatel are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave shortly. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoyatel. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope.
I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. Try anything.
I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! I knew it was you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? None of yours, Roach. Is that so? When the Kedweni realize you came from Vergen, they'll cut you into shreds. Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. She's got to be here. Philippa Eilhart located her. Well, it seems you met the whole menagerie. Will you abandon them too when things get hot? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. I'm not one of your men, Roach. I didn't betray you. I didn't say that. But you thought it. You and your men against the whole world. Those not on your side are against you. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. Ah, <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear. Near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I'd forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles. But some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plow. Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? I need to get inside the camp, unnoticed. That'll cost you more than straight plowing. That's nowhere near enough. I need to get inside the camp, unnoticed. That'll cost you more than straight plowing.
would you like to talk about? Anything? So not they might. Are there trolls here? Aye, there are. You don't mind? Pretty oh. please. Pretty please. Greetings, Haggard. Oh. Oh. Pretty please. Hey, watch it. Hey, watch it. Well, how could? I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those. You'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. I've got the Orans, if that's what you're wondering. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. Pretty please. Hey, watch it. Hey, there are. You don't mind. What's so strange about that? Other lands have slizzards, drowners, and they don't have a What about building bridges? And taking tolls under threat of force? None of that. You sit among the rocks. Now at what you've done. There. As for tools, the headman trick them and they don't. The lava lets pretty please. Oh. Well, how? I'll come. I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make. Our sea, pick an interest in things. Or it will turn out like the mill in Stilcom. The one the smith from Jailmouth took over when he married the miller's widow.
the rubber let's land. Pretty please. Deadly yourself. Gotta pay for looking too. Bastard. Oh, you're no Prince Charming. Greetings. Make love, not war. Life can be really strange. I fought the Nilfgaard a few years back. Now we make Elder and the recruiter are coming Semper for you. Fi! He was slaughtering pigs at the time, so he takes a pig's eye and puts it between his buttocks. He does what? Puts a pig's eye in his ass. The elder and the recruiter enter, and the mother says, I just will Son, when things are quiet. They've come to take you to war. And he's standing with his back to them, his pants down. He spreads his cheeks and says, I can see that. Did they take him? Not a chance. In the face of possible disaster, they Watch tried yourself, to draft Geralt. the entire... Half the serfs knew beforehand and fled into the woods, but the rest were pressed oh, in the The count says, these are pansies, not soldiers. But we'll have to make do with them. We'll put them out front, let the cavalry run them over. Maybe it'll lose some momentum. <laughs> so, the battle was on. Terrible losses on the left flank. They almost broke our ranks. The serfs dropped their pikes and ran to the archers' corpses. Did they stop? I tell you, each shot... Hey, there are. Pretty oh. please. yourself, pauper. Recruiter are coming for you. He was slaughtered. Oh, leave me alone. Oh. So he takes a pig's eye and puts it between his buttocks. He does what? Puts a pig's eye in his ass. The elder and the recruiter enter, and the mother says, "Son, I just they've come to take quiet. you to war." 
and he's standing with his back to them, his pants down. Nothing to discuss. He spreads with you. his cheeks and says, "I can see that." Did they take him? Not a chance. Everything all right, Geralt? Stilton, in the Ravalet's lands in Tameria. Run away, eh? I'm from Van Glen. This... well, how... I want... We're... Sound. Ask her, what would you... I need... That... That's nowhere near enough. I need to get inside the camp, unnoticed. That'll cost you more than straight plowing. That's nowhere. That'll. What would you. Well. I want to. I'm not going Well, how can I. I want. Sound. Uh, what would you like. Heard it. Oh. I fought the Nilth Guardians a few years back. Now we make a camp with the pack. What you've done. Now at what you've done.
life can be re- Oh! Life can be really strange. I fought the Nilfgaardians a few years back. Well, well, Witcher. Girl. Welcome. Well. Welcome.
of steel, not any old steel. In your hot smithy, change it your will. Into a sword, a shield, and some mail. I plow your daughter, and hear her well. Ah, her flesh, not any old flesh. On hay in the barn, she really looks fresh. No matter the stench, the sweat, and the pain. Hammer the Out of the way! Aye! Oh, ha, <laughs> Blondie! <laughs> Bring back! Hey, run to the house. Oh, will you bring me the? You don't know what you're missing. Uh, we know that you yearn for us. Our trousers, snakes are hissing. Hiss! We'll make a bonfire bright. Throw your clothes onto the pyre. You'll be ours this fine night. Give yourself to your admirer. An animal, a measly drunk beast. Forward march! I'm glad our shift is over. Since that must have appeared, two patrols have gone missing. I heard the wraiths rip them to shreds. Quit yapping! Move it! When we go into battle, I'm ready to face the Virgin of Edern herself. Smart ass. You'd like to plow her, but she'd smash your head in. I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch! I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch! Don't, don't kill me, Lord! Please! I'm only cooking here! You work too hard. Yes. You're right. I'll, uh, lie down. I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch! I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch! We'll die on this patrol, I tell you, and it's your fault! It's not our fault. Give track to you. Shut it, Jimmy! I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch! Look out! Don't get too close to him!
If Kia Nordling, where do you think you're going? To see the ambassador. With all that steel on your back? Have you seen a red-headed sorceress anywhere? You didn't seem to understand my delicate suggestion, Nordling. Drop your sword. I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Met not a rubber. Garrett, I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Esther Garamnith. I remember you telling Faltes you'd like to return to hunting monsters. Triss Marigold was kidnapped. Foltest's advisor. I heard she arrived at Vergen and hoped we would meet. But if she was kidnapped... Now I understand why you couldn't just stand by. But there are other reasons too. They told me you were in league with the Skyatel. With Jorvath himself, no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe at the ravine of the Hydra? The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vryhead Brigade. Yorveth was among those condemned. September 13th, 1269. The Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269. Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. A high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Yuruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals. All between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Amusing that the Skyatel believed the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the kings of the North demanded the massacre at the ravine of the Hydra. You feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The Council and the Conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vanamar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? I found it on a man's corpse. And you finished his mission for the Emperor's glory. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. 
I don't know whether you killed Tavik or found him dead, it's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, Witcher. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? Plow yourself, Nilfgaardian. Your words mean nothing now. Like the good old days. Having killed an elf guardian for years. I knew you'd get in trouble. You've a talent for getting me out of it. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Foltest's former advisor. This stinks horribly, Geralt. It would seem the Nilf Guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. What will happen at Loch Muin? Apparently, a lot more than I thought. Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witchers were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the council and the conclave that once represented all the sorcerers and sorceresses of the north. King Radovid, the ruler of Redania, is also invited. As Loch Muin lies in Kedwin, Hensolt is likely to arrive too. But a Nilfgaardian delegation. Triss, Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Too many eggs in that basket. One more thing, Roach. I have to go back to Vergen. Philippa may know something more about Triss. It won't be easy. The camp's in uproar. I bet you mauled somebody while breaking through to Shillard. Could be. Right. We'll pretend you're my prisoner. I'll get you out of here, but remember, our goal is Foltest's killer. I'll remember, Roach. So, ready? Let's go, Roach. I'm not sure it'll work. If we just avoid the officers. In the face! Hit him in the face! Faster, Kerr! Bloody idiots. How many times have I told you? In the, the face! In the face. Go on, you! you. Don't get our every day. Look out! Don't get too close to him! Faster, Kerr! 
In the face! Hit him in the face! Go on, you. Faster, Kerr. Go on, you. Who goes there? Vernon Roach. I've got a prisoner. What kind of freak is he? The king ordered him questioned outside the camp. Outside, eh? <laughs> well, don't let me keep you then. We should be safe here. Thanks for everything, Vernon. I owe you. You never cease to owe me. Remember my proposal. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Muin. What? They cast a spell on her, turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. They had. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Muin will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen, at once!
I don't understand it. What's the meaning of this, eh? Cut him down! Plague. I was so foolish. Cherish this rare moment, Witcher. Philippa Eilhart's been had by a cheap Nilfgaardian bitch. When I find her, we'll have it out like never before. She'll regret her mother didn't abort her. Wait. The Rose of Remembrance is gone. Not necessarily. That viper, Cynthia, was in a hurry and left her bric-a-brac. Ah, yes. Here it is. Triss Merigold's Rose of Remembrance. Time is running out, Geralt. This flower is dying. Then what are we waiting for? You wanted to discuss something? Is what Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. You wanted to... Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. You wanted to discuss something? Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important.
You wanted to discuss something. As True. It's... Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important.
Ready to die, Nilfgaardian? Plow yourself! Just what I wanted to hear. Die, dog! You wanted to discuss something. Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. <laughs> 